Hello there and welcome to this very special video I put together entitled Super Simple Graphic Creation or more accurately Why Graphic Designers Hate My Guts. <laughs> So, tell me this, have you ever been working on a project, doing something online, and you desperately needed some sort of visual? Maybe it was a tweak to an image, maybe it was a graphic, graphical logo, or fancy little thing to put in an ebook, on a website, on your blog, to just spiff things up, raise the bar, and make things look a little nicer, yet you found yourself not knowing how to do any of this yourself. Well, I'm gonna give you a ton of cheating little tricks that I've used to avoid using a graphic designer for the most part. Do it yourself even if you have no background in graphic design and no artistic skills or ability whatsoever. So, quick agenda for this super fast video. I'm basically gonna show you how to get super sexy graphics done, made, created with little time, effort, or money on your part. A lot of these are free. So, how to find super cheap and free logos, simple do-it-yourself graphic creation, and 3D product image creation tools. Creating an ebook, video training course, membership site, whatever it is, we can get that stuff made very inexpensively and it'll look amazing. And a few more tips along the way. Guys, I'm revealing over four years of me doing this and finding a lot of stuff on my own. Great resources and tips, most of these are free. So uh, I'll talk as fast as I can to keep this video length as short as possible. Make sure you have some notes so you can write down these resources. However, I will also have the links in the description box and under my blog as well. So, number one warning. Outsource when you can. I always encourage outsourcing. We have a lot of great and talented graphic designers that we use in places like the Philippines and other places overseas, even other places in America, good old US of A, that we can use at inexpensive prices. However, sometimes you're in a bind and you just need to make something now rather than later. That's what this is for. So let's start with logos, whether it's a logo for you, your brand, your business, maybe just a certain product you're working on, a certain little project, a new website, a new blog, this will help. All right, the first and obvious choice, which most people have heard of, is 99designs.com. So you're going, seriously, James, you're gonna tell me about 99designs, I've never heard of it. Well, if you have, hold on, because I'm gonna show you some cool tricks with it. If you haven't, welcome to 99designs. This is basically, what puts graphic designers out of a job. They hate this website. Why? Because you get to take back control. You pay a couple hundred bucks here, I think it's like three, four hundred bucks for a logo, and you put your assignment out there to the world, and all the designers that are willing to make logos for you submit their completed design, and you only pay for the one that you like. It really gives you power and choice to see different styles, different designs, different creative options from people all over the world. I highly recommend it when you are trying to do something that is more professional. It, when you want to raise the bar to the highest standard quality, maybe it's a, a professional like physical book cover you want created or a logo for something that's really important to you and you're willing to invest more money into it, this is where you go, 99designs.com. However, let's say you need a simple logo, you need it quick, and you don't wanna spend three or 400 bucks. If you scroll, most people don't know this, all the way down to the bottom of the homepage at 99designs, hidden down there at the bottom is a little link that says ready-made logos. Go ahead and click that link and you'll be taken to another page on 99designs where you can make ready-made logos for as little as $99. They're there, they're ready, they're done. You just need to find them, pick the one you like, you pay a hundred bucks and the graphic designer will actually input your name, your tagline, your slogan and deliver the Photoshop files, the JPEG files and whatever else you need to get you started and on the right track with your logo. How cool is that? Moving on, another trick. What if you don't wanna even pay a hundred bucks? What if hundred bucks is too much for you? Not a problem, go to google.com, type in free.psd, which stands for Photoshop file, logo, 
and see what you come up with. The first result, or towards the top, should be this right here. It's by a website called designcollage.com. It's over 80 professional Photoshop logos that are fully com customizable. Take a browse through there, super high quality stuff. I've used stuff from there and they're absolutely free. They download as Photoshop files. So what you'll need is some sort of software that can manipulate Photoshop files. So if you, if you don't have that, we're gonna talk about that in a second. Now, another great site to play around with is dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. Free, really cool fonts that are just so unique and amazing to just, you could spend an hour on here and probably download 50 new fonts because font choice is very important as far as your branding and logo creation as well. We don't just wanna look at an image, we wanna look at the, the emotion behind the font that you're that you're conveying, right? So you can find a lot of really cool stuff in here to font.com, download it, install it, and play with them um, on your computer. Now, there's another little thing I wanna show you. If you go all the way over to the right, you'll see there's a little column called dingbats. Now, what the heck are dingbats? Basically, they're graphics that represent every letter on your keyboard. So you download a font, but every letter, instead of it being A or B or C or D, it's actually like a different image. Let me show you an example over here. There's here are different sports ones where every letter of the alphabet on your keyboard is a different sports character. You can use these, turn them into graphics, and now you've got a logo, a simple graphic for your website, or whatever you need. And some of them are really cool if you take the time. And guess what? They're also free. Okay, one of my favorite resources, this is probably the resource I use the most. There's several sites similar to this, but this is the one I use. It's called iconarchive.com. They are free, high quality, transparent, PNG graphics and you can see the newest ones that just came up which are a set of Angry Bird icons now they're not just icons don't let the name fool you any type of little graphic that you need most likely you can find it here in fact when I create PowerPoint presentations the number one resource I use is Icon Archive in order to find little graphics to demonstrate what it is I'm teaching or sharing in my PowerPoint presentations Write that site down, spend some time there. They're free, you don't have to sign up, you don't have to pay for anything, it's awesome. Iconarchive.com. Here's an example of when you type in like computer, you can see a bunch of different computer related images. Um, and there's pages and pages and pages of this. A lot of them are very clean and professional looking. Okay, let's move on to stock photos. So not just graphics uh, or vector images or anything like that, but actual real stock photos that you might need for your website or anything like that. The, the resource I recommend the most is, I think it's pronounced Photolia, sometimes I call it Photolia, but photolia.com, you're gonna have to pay, okay? You're gonna have to pay for these images, but let me tell you this, they're very inexpensive, you can get by with a couple bucks for an image, and they have the one of the best um, libraries of, of an array of content available to you. So check out that site, it's great. But what if you're going, James, I don't wanna pay for my stock images. I don't have the budget, I just don't have the desire. Well, that used to be me and I really did say, you know, it's time to upgrade the quality of my graphics and my videos and my, and my PowerPoints and my website and it's worth it. It really is worth it because you can save them, you can reuse them, uh, you can repurpose them any way you want. However, here is a free resource as well, sxc.hu. sxc.hu is a free royalty-free image site, but let me tell you, you get what you pay for. The selection is not nearly as close in comparison to Photolia or Photolia.com. Uh, there's gonna be ads on the site that are trying to push you to other photo sharing sites that do cost money, like iStock Photo. Uh, and what have you. So you're gonna get some good ones, but it's gonna be harder. You're probably not gonna find what you're looking for, but it's a great place to start because it's free. 
Now, another uh, resource I have for you is available. Uh, I'll have the link below. It's a longer link. JamesWilmer.com forward slash marketing picks is my link. And yes, that is an affiliate link. This is a $17 product, uh, which is just simple little graphics that you can use for your website. Add to cart buttons, shiny green arrows, testimonial boxes, stuff like that. You can go check it out. If you need anything for like a sales page type graphic, this is a great resource because it's cheap and there's like hundreds to choose from. You just put them on your desktop and anytime you're working on a sales page, you can pull those out, upload them and you're good to go. Now. You've downloaded your stock images, you've downloaded your icon archive images, you've got some cool looking logos, but maybe they're in a Photoshop or maybe you need to edit them. How do you do that? Remember, I don't need you to become a professional graphic designer here. These are the tools that the graphic designers use. These are the industry standard. We have Adobe Illustrator on the left and Photoshop on the right. If you don't have these and you don't know them, don't get them. Okay, it, they, they do cost money and there, there is a learning curve to them. It took me a while to learn these and I wouldn't recommend it. You're a business owner, you got way too many other things that you need to be doing. This intention of this video is to teach you how to make graphics in literally five minutes or less and for the most part here, learning Photoshop and Illustrator is gonna take you a lot of time. So, here's one way we can solve that. A little website called pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com, is basically a simplified version of Photoshop, and it's online, web-based software, no, nothing to sign up to, nothing to pay, it's 100% free, you open it up, you can edit your photos, you can edit logos in there, and save them right to your computer. It's awesome, it's free, it works like Photoshop, and it's pretty darn simple to learn, no need to download software on your computer either, which is really nice. Here is what I use though. This is so bad. Graphic designers all over the world are just screaming blasphemy right now. But here's what I use. I use Keynote. I'm actually using Keynote right now to do this presentation and I use Keynote to make my logo. I'm gonna actually show you a live demonstration. So let's go ahead and make a logo. Let's say I have a font. And this is the font I like. So we'll delete this, by the way. Let's get this out of here. We're gonna make this on the fly. Um, I wanna make this a little bit shorter or smaller. And we'll use my last name in there. Um, and see how I can just easily move stuff around. And then what I can do is I have some graphics set up here. Um, I like this guy. I paste him in here. Send him to the back. You guys see how I'm just playing around with this. Um, I'm gonna see if I can, can I flip that? I think I'll just leave him like that. Um, so, I just, you know, did this in two seconds. Obviously, it's not like this great, amazing logo, but I took an image, I put it next to some text, we've got a little visual here. Now, here's what you do. If you're on a Mac and you don't know this keyboard sh shortcut, you're gonna learn it right now. It's Command-Shift-4. Now, what that does, it creates a crosshair, and I can, oops, let's do that again. It's Command Shift 4. What it does, it creates a crosshair and I can select any area inside on my computer and it takes a picture and puts it on my dashboard. Now let me just show you what that looks like. I will scroll it up to the top and we'll open it up and there it is right there. Now obviously there's a little red line there because it thinks that Wedmore is a word that's spelled wrong, which is ridiculous, I spelled my name right. Uh, but there's my image and there's my graphic, I can put that on my website, I can do whatever. So maybe you need to make titles or uh, sections on your website and you wanna use some fun graphics and text. Keynote is such an easy way to do it. Now, any graphic designer finds out you're doing this, they're, they're gonna take your license to draw away, but we don't really care about that, do we? looks fine, it works, does the job. Here we go, next section, 
product images. We got a little guy looking at money with a microscope. How cool is that? Okay, here is the product image software that I recommend. If you want to sell any type of digital product, one of the best ways to increase the perceived value of this content is to show or convey what it looks like. If you have an ebook, you need a picture of an ebook. If it's a membership site, what does it look like? What does it feel like? It just adds so much more value. JamesWoodmore.com forward slash eCover Creator. I recommend this thing. I've been using it for years. It's called eCover Creator 3D. It's absolutely phenomenal because you don't need any graphic design skill whatsoever. It's all online software based. It takes a little time to set it up, but once you're in, it's just push button. You could pump out graphics all day, every day. Here's some examples uh, of the different types of styles that you can produce. And then here's some examples of the different types of graphics. We can have CDs, DVDs, magazines, uh, boxes, computer screens, books, different types of eBooks, all that stuff. It's eCover Creator. You can The link will be down in the description box or on the blog post. jameswilmer.com forward slash eCover Creator. Awesome resource to make your own graphics and save a lot of money from hiring some graphic designer to bring you something that's not going to be what you wanted in the first place, right? So that was it. Like I said, a short video, but I talked fast uh, on all the resources I use from Keynote to Icon Archive to Font, eCover Creator, all those stuff. So if I need to create something on the fly really fast, I can do that. I don't need a graphic designer. I don't need to wait three days for him to come back and then make changes and that we're not happy with and he's not getting what I want and I got to go find another guy in the meantime. You can do it yourself on the fly. It's fantastic and most of those are free. So thank you so much. Check out all the links. I shared them below. And uh, if you're not on my blog, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you go to my blog. I'll have a link for that too. It's jameswilmer.com. Sign up there because I'll be posting a ton more cool videos like this to come. And subscribe as well on the YouTube. Talk to you soon, guys. Take care.